We have talked about multiple vibe coding platforms, but this one is very special to me because this has made my work easier. I'm talking about Riff. It's a new vibe coding platform for doers, something that can help you build work apps for different functions, be it marketing, finance, operations, and much more. And today we are going to see how this platform looks like, what are the different features, and how can you build a production ready app for your work in a few minutes. They are different in so many ways because they have a Riffworks team that can help you along with the AI to get your production ready app from end to end. They also have so many templates for different functions, be it marketing, finance, operation, and we'll be using one template to build something. And third, they have a lot of cool integrations with HubSpot, with Notion, and so many other different tools that we use in our day-to-day -day life at work. So without any further ado, let's get started. Stay with me till the end of this video because I have something special that can get you a free subscription to Riff till the end of 2025 and it's going to be super, super exciting. So this is the newly launched Riff. Earlier it was called Data Button and here you can build your applications for work. Uh, a lot of companies have already been using be it Google, Intuit, QuickBooks, Microsoft Dynamics 365. Uh, so many integrations are there with these platforms. You can see so many testimonials and this is a business ready vibe coding platform. You can, it's built for businesses, apps on your stack, value and it's fast. <clears throat> you can explore more ways to be 10x at your work. So this is basically helping you improve your productivity and helping you become better at your work, right? So there are so many different things. So like they have so many use cases in finance, marketing, operations, customer experience, and uh, you can go and type in whatever you want. For example, if I want a business application that can automate my email to remove spam mails and filter out mails then summarize although i'm very bad at prompting but this could have been a lot better and you just need to click and this is gonna show its magic let's see there's so many different use cases for different different uh, purposes let's go to the use cases page you can see use cases are for sales, for finance, for marketing, operations, support, customer success. Let's go to some marketing uh, operations as I'm a LinkedIn creator. Also, I create a lot of different posts on LinkedIn for work, for non-work, for my opinion. They have something known as LinkedIn post creator, which will draft LinkedIn posts from ideas and prompts using AI. Let's see how this works and how can I as an engineer or I as a non-engineer build this. So I just need to click on start building and I'll see how it uh, goes. So as you can see, it is. It, so as you can see, it has given a prompt, and uh, prompt is uh, to create a tool to turn ideas into ready-to-publish LinkedIn posts using AI. It, it thought for a moment, and it's given a plan on how this would look like. So it is LinkedIn post generator where you can transform brief ideas into polished, ready-to-publish apps. Some of the core features, functionalities that has already determined. Input fields to enter ideas, topics, stuff, stuffs. AI-powered post generation with multiple tone options. Correct account and LinkedIn best practices. Edit and refine generated posts. And clip copy to clipboard for easy pasting. So this is something that uh, we are going to build. Integration is going to uh, ask my OpenAI API key. That's something that I'll give. And I'll click on build project. Let's see how this looks like. So the entire process will take these five steps. Let's see how it goes. So I'll basically be judging it on the basis of the time it took for me and how uh, my non-engineering side can build something like this and can save me a lot of time while generating LinkedIn posts. So it's uh, completing. Let's see what is the kind of interface or a preview that we can see. So as you can see, it's, it's uh, trying to build something. So this is how the LinkedIn post generator would look like. So it has divided my entire uh, thing into different tasks. First task is to create a functional landing page with UI components. Second is to create a backend API for post generation with OpenAI true. Third is connecting front end UI to the post generation API. So this is basically how we build applications at work. Like I would have built it myself if I would have started, but this is uh, amazing <clears throat> let's try and see if i would ask it to do uh, uh, task one task two or task three so it has uh, already done task one so task one is already marked done so it's it's already marked done we need to either choose from task two and task three so you can see this ui is already done functioning landing page functional landing page with ui is already done let's go ahead and complete the task two we let's complete task two now. 
So it has given me a review, right? The task one is done with these uh, features, the current landing pages, input field, tone selector, generate button. So it has given me what it has done in task one. So I've just prompted and asked it to complete task two now. So it's planning different steps for uh, task two. So it will build backend API for post generation. It's asking me for my open AI API key that I'll, I'll give. Paste it here, I'll send. And now it's the value is done. So it has created a backend. Now it will create, it is creating this backend API endpoint for post generation. So, it's, so these are the tasks that it's gonna do. So it has divided the entire task into different subtasks. You can see the subtasks on screen. Uh, so it's now it has completed the task. I think it's trying to test with a different tone. I missed something, but yeah, let's see what it does. It's planning next steps. So it has requested and stored OpenAI API key securely, created fast API endpoint for proper Pydentic models, integrated OpenAI API key uh, to our application. It has done the task too. So the backend API is fully functional and it has tested also. So this is something super cool. Let's go and try task three. Task three. I've just given a very simple problem to complete task three. Uh, let's see what it does. So task three basically would uh, be to connect the front end UI to the post generation API. So you can uh, see it has again divided it into subtasks and you can see them on your screen, which all subtasks it has divided that into. Should I proceed with task three? So it's completing task three, right? Basically it's completing task three. In the meantime that you're seeing this, there is something that I wanted to show. You can click on more here and you can see different integrations that it has, right? You can integrate it with any tool that you have at your workplace, be it Notion, be it HubSpot or anything else. So once you uh, click on uh, this integrations, so you have so many different things, be it Gmail, Google Sheets, Google Workspace, uh, Google Calendar, you can integrate with any and every of these uh, features. For example, I would want to, uh, have a separate channel in slack and i would want to post these linkedin posts in that slack i can do that right so this is how it looks like we can just we'll just go back to the preview i think post craft ai is fully functional all the three tasks are done now it has given me a go ahead that you can test this app it has built in a couple of minutes and let's try and see how this works so it is also given a very cool name that is post craft ai i'll just put in my idea here uh, i need a linkedin post around growth mindset for thought leaders in AI. So maybe I've just given a random uh, topic. So tone, what I want, I want a professional tone, a casual tone or a thought leadership tone. I want a professional tone. I'll click on generate post and let's see how it goes. Yes, it has successfully generated a post. It has uh, given me a post in, in the rapidly developing, evolving space. I can click on copy and I can just post it on my LinkedIn. If I want to post it right now, this is my LinkedIn profile. I'll copy paste this post here and you can see this is very cool, right? So this is how this uh, uh, riff so this is how easy and simple it is to build work apps using Riff and you can do that too. There's a deploy button here where you can click and your app can be deployed in a single click. And now coming on to that surprise, Riff has recently launched and now you can build an application using Riff before 1st of November and you will be entered into a raffle to win unlimited Riff credits to be used till the end of 2025. So you'll have 
two complete months to utilize Riff and build as many applications as possible. That's very exciting and that's something that you can win if you will build the application today. The link you can find it in my description below and I'm super excited to use this myself and super excited to have you use it. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer. Stay tuned on this channel if you want more tutorials around AI building applications and more on this channel.